हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द विजडम 360 लाइव सेशन क्लास एथ सी बी एस सी टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर दैट इज सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर एट पेज नाइन्टी फ्रॉम द एन सी आर टी बुक In the previous lecture, we discussed about the discovery of the cell, the cell theory, and the basic composition of the cell, having the main organs like cytoplasm, nucleus, cell membrane, and other cell organelles. Today, we will be discussing about the parts of the cell and the structure by making the diagram. as you all know that the cell containing the cytoplasm is having a membrane known as the cell membrane so every cell whether it may be a plant cell or an animal cell it is having a layer around it known as the cell membrane inside the cell membrane or the plasma membrane is present the liquid of the cell that is the cytoplasm and in the center the control center of the cell is present along with it there are other cell organelles named as the endoplasmic reticulum the vacuole the mitochondria the ribosomes the lysosome <clears throat> the centrioles golgi bodies the nucleolus the chromosomes etc the outermost covering of the cell is known as the cell membrane which is also called as 
the plasma membrane. Inside which the liquid of the cell named cytoplasm is filled. The endoplasmic reticulum which is also called as ER the small spherical structures known as the ribosomes the ribosomes when attached to the endoplasmic reticulum are termed as rough endoplasmic reticulum or RER and the portion of endoplasmic reticulum where the ribosomes are not attached are called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum or smooth ER. The nucleus that is the control center of the cell contains the liquid inside it named as the nucleoplasm. <coughs> inside the nucleoplasm a small spherical body known, named as nucleolus is present the powerhouse of the cell that is the mitochondria the suicidal bags that are known as the lysosomes and the storage or the storehouse of the cell that is called as the vacuole. Around the nucleus is present the spherical body known as the centrosome. inside which centrioles are present that help to initiate the cell division. <clears throat> the membrane that envelops the nucleoplasm is called as the nuclear membrane there are certain cell organelles like the golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus that acts like the secretory bodies this is the structure of an animal cell and all the cell organelles which are found in only an animal cell. It is totally different from a plant cell 
apart from the common cell organelles that is the cytoplasm nucleus cell membrane nucleoplasm nuclear membrane mitochondria vacuole and golgi bodies which are called as dictyosomes in a plant cell these cell organelles that is the cell membrane cytoplasm nucleus endoplasmic reticulum rough er smooth er ribosomes golgi bodies vacuole nucleoplasm nucleolus nuclear membrane mitochondria are common to the plant cell in addition to this the plant cell have an outer layer that surrounds the cell membrane these cell organelles which are written right now are found only in animal cell <clears throat> these are having different functions to perform inside the cell of an animal mitochondria that is the power house of the cell is also playing the role of cellular respiration that is responsible for the production of energy mitochondria is the site of respiration and power house of the cell ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis that means for every cell ribosomes play the role of making proteins the nucleus is containing the bearer of heredity characters that are called as the chromosomes chromosomes are the structure that contains dna and dna is the structure which is known as double helical structure this structure contains the unit of heredity that is called as gene this structure of dna is carrying gene over them which is the unit of heredity heredity means the passing of characters or traits from the parents to the offspring offspring means the child or the individual or the newborn from the same organism this structure completes you with the structure of animal cell all the cell organelles which are present only in an animal cell now we'll be taking the plant cell
plant cell and animal cell both are having the common structure named as the cell membrane along with this the plant body or the plant cell is having an extra protective shield or membrane which is called as the cell wall the cell wall helps the plants to be in a shape which is called as rigid the cell wall in plants is made up of non living substance called cellulose the cell membrane inside the cell membrane is present the liquid that is called as cytoplasm inside which in a plant body the largest cell organelle is called as the vacuole the vacuole in a plant body is the largest cell organelle which helps the plant cell to be turgid or having a rigid shape as compared to the plant cell the animal cell are having a small vacuole or having a vacuole of negligible size along with these the plant cell also have the nucleolus the membrane of the nucleus is called as the nuclear membrane same as in animal cell and the liquid inside the nucleus is called as the nucleoplasm along with this same structure of the ribosomes and the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum serves the function like the pipelines of the factory and you can compare the pipeline with the endoplasmic reticulum and the factory with the cell the endoplasmic reticulum gets attached with the ribosomes forming this rough endoplasmic reticulum and the portion where the ribosomes are not attached is called as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum same as in animal cell and the ribosomes which are the protein synthesis site are found in the scattered form inside the cytoplasm along with them the kitchen of the cell that is known as the chloroplast or the structure of plastid is present in animal cell is in is present in plant cell that have a group of stack like structures which are connected to each other help in the process of photosynthesis this structure is only found in a plant cell that is known as the plastids here it is made with the chloroplast
along with this the plant cell also have the structure known as the golgi bodies in an animal cell these have the function of secretion of enzymes and hormones here it is called as dictyosomes dictyosomes in plant cell and in animal cell these are called as the golgi bodies along with them the mitochondria same structure as an animal cell you can draw it like the mitochondria have the small finger out finger like outgrowths called the cristae and the mitochondria is double walled rod like or spherical structure where the inner chamber is filled with protein named as matrix mitochondria this is how the plant cell get completed with all its organelles now we'll be taking the cell organelles of the plant cell and animal cell differently first of all let us take the first cell organelle that envelops the inner parts in a cell that is known as <clears throat> the cell membrane or the plasma membrane it is a thin delicate skin like structure that allows only selective material to pass through it hence it is called as a selectively permeable membrane we already have discussed about the three different membranes in the previous lecture that is the selectively permeable semi permeable and impermeable the cell membrane is elastic in nature or you can say that it's flexible and enables the cell to stretch not completely but up to some extent and the cell membrane performs the function to 
give a definite shape to the cell also it controls the movement of materials in and out of the cell in addition to them the cell membrane provides protection to the internal compounds or organelles or components of the cell from any kind of injury inside the cell membrane or plasma membrane the liquid part of the cell that is called as the cytoplasm now we'll be discussing about it the cytoplasm is a jelly like substance that holds the other cell organelles inside the cell membrane all the components of the cell internal to the cell membrane except the nucleus is cytoplasm the cytoplasm plus nucleus is called as the protoplasm that means cytoplasm is equals to protoplasm minus nucleus which means that the protoplasm is the physical basis of life as you know that life is a state of being 
that distinguishes from the non living and dead so protoplasm is the first liquid of the cell or in short it is the cytoplasm plus nucleoplasm <clears throat> the term protoplasm was coined or given by a scientist named as purkinje it is a complex mixture of organic and inorganic compounds the portion of the protoplasm without the nucleus is called the cytoplasm and the protoplasm contains both the living structures and the non living substances too cell organelles are the living structures present in the cytoplasm <clears throat> this jelly like substance that is the cytoplasm is responsible for all the life functions occurring inside a cell by the living substances or structures known as cell organelles now we'll be taking another cell organelle that is the cell wall this cell organelle is found only in a plant cell the cell wall of plant is an additional protective membrane or wall around the cell or you can write the cell membrane the cell wall is non living in nature and is freely permeable that is it allows free passage of substances through it the cell wall is made up of a 
complex substance complex carbohydrate carbohydrate means sugar and many sugar molecules form the carbohydrate or complex carbohydrate it is made up of a complex carbohydrate called as cellulose cellulose is non living in nature and this cellulose is non digestible in humans as humans lack the enzyme required for digestion of cellulose that is cellulase cellulose can be digested by the ruminants this you must have studied in class 7th the ruminants are the grass eating animals fine the function of cell wall permeable means permission or the membrane that allows the passage of materials with through with uh, through it and cell wall has the function of providing a definite shape to the cell that is plant cell definite it is also providing definite shape with protection support strength and rigidity rigidity matlab toughness rigidity means tough to the plant cell okay as you know that plants do not move from one place to another during unfavorable conditions like thunder storm or heavy uh, summers so the plants have an extra protective covering called the cell wall which allows them to live or survive during unfavorable conditions okay cell wall is freely permeable in nature that's why they it allows free passage of substances through it made up of complex sugar or complex carbohydrate carbohydrate is the nutrient responsible for providing the main source of energy anything you eat that tastes sweet is due to the presence of this nutrient okay nutrient is the part of the food or nutrients are the components of food like carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals etc these are five major nutrients required for uh, required for the growth and development of the body now let us discuss about the nucleus
each and every point which I am explaining you right now is very important because this chapter that is the cell will be asked in many exams including your uh, school exams or test and also your extra competitive exams and this topic the cell is including every chapter whether it may be microorganism whether it may be reproduction or conservation etc it is required for everyone to understand the basic unit of light life that is cell now we'll be discussing about the control center of the cell that is called as the nucleus nucleus is the control center of the cell as it controls or regulates the activities of other cell organelles the nucleus is having the fluid named as the nucleoplasm you already know this this nucleus nucleoplasm is filled within a membrane known as the nuclear membrane this nuclear membrane is again having the nature of semi permeability inside the nuclear membrane the nucleoplasm holds the material that is required for the cell division called as the chromosomes chromosomes are structured like this in which these chromosomes carry smaller structures called as the dna and these dna are having small coding over them which are the nitrogenous bases you will be studying about it further in the topic chapter genetics in your higher classes these chromosomes carry the dna that is deoxy ribo nucleic acid these carry the codes over them these are named as the nitrogenous bases and these codes form the basic characters and are called as the gene the gene is the basic heredity heredity means passing of characters or traits traits or characters from the parents to the offsprings offsprings means the child okay 
so this much is for now we'll be taking from the this organelle in the next class in our next class or coming class till then aaj jitna cheez aapko padhaya hai usko aap revise kariye and go along with making short notes and few questions for yourself from the ncrt so till then i hope things are clear practice the diagrams of the animal and plant cell from the book and from this video i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and like it thank you